Hey guys, Dylan from Devlin Gaming here. Welcome to a review of Aikido, because we finally finished. <sighs> well, in our reviews, we're going to be talking about mostly four things. The gameplay mechanics of the game, the visual and audio of the game, the replayability, and whether or not it was fun. So, for Aiko, it's going to be very exciting. So, I'll have Ant come in and talk about gameplay. Hey guys, like you just said, I'm going to talk about gameplay. First of all, it's a very minimalistic control style, uses about four buttons the entire game. Holding R1 got annoying, but luckily there's an option to change that in the menu, so that you just toggle it on and off. R1 is, of course, to hold Yoda's hand, and it's the help button. Unfortunately, I didn't find that option about halfway through the game, until about halfway through the game, so I didn't use it. It would have thrown me off. Oh well. Secondly, the controls are a little odd in the fact that if you jump in one direction, sometimes you go in the opposite direction. Eh, I mean, there's not much you can do about that. It was an older game, originally, but well. I'll give the controls about a 5 out of 10. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the visual and audio of the game. Now let's, let's keep in mind the fact that it was an older game. Let's stick there. So for its day in 2001, it was probably you know, average. But now that it's been remade in HD, it actually looks pretty good, especially since it was an older game. So the visuals, uh, it's got very a bland color scheme, but the HD makes it, it gives it some more life, so it looks pretty good. And the sound, okay, there wasn't a lot of sound in Ico other than him like jumping and some howling wind and maybe some birds. They, oh, that sounded great. Okay, let's be honest, the little bit of sound that was in there, it was good. So this is the better side of Ico. I'm giving it a 7.5, about an 8 out of 10. I'm doing replayability now. Uh, <laughs> replayability. There's a funny story behind that. Once we got to episode 15, I tried to save the file and it got corrupted. Then I went to go convert episode 12 and I found out that was also corrupted. I had to replay through Ico. Here's a fun fact. It was not fun the second time around. Luckily, however, when you do beat the game, you unlock the two-player mode. So I guess if you have a friend that wants to suffer through Ico with you, you can do it then. Maybe some replayability. Also, there's a replay incentive where there's a... First of all, there's hidden weapons in the game. Didn't know that. There's a mace in one of the levels. Second time you play through the game, it's a lightsaber. For some reason, when you hold Yorda's hand, it gets bigger, though. <laughs> Euphemism, maybe? Oh well. So for replay, uh, replayability, I'll give it a... Let's say a 7 out of 10. Hey, so the last part of this is going to be, was it fun? Uh, I mean, I guess, kind of. All right, let's be honest. I watched Ann play the entire time, and he never looked like he was having fun n ever, like not once. However, I got to watch, and it was a bit more enjoyable because I didn't have to do anything. And I tried to have fun, like, see if I could outsmart him by, like, guessing the puzzles before he could do them. Which, I, of course, I never did. I just made guesses that sounded like I knew what was going on. And you guys are in the same boat as me, so you know what I'm talking about because you're just watching. But, um, so, fun, I'm going to say, like, 5 out of 10, just because the game was kind of boring. Like, it was a cool idea and all, the whole, it's like, you know, one objective, loose storytelling, whatever. But it was just, that was it. it was, that, that was it. Kind of boring. Here's some final thoughts. When this game was originally released in 2001 in America, it was a dumbed-down version of the game that everybody else got. Europe, Japan, etc. The puzzles were a lot easier, and some didn't exist. Remember the spinning wheel of death that we failed on? Yeah, wasn't in the US version. So if you like the original US version, pick up the HD remake because it's the European version. The European version, of course, has the secret weapons, has two-player mode, so I guess it has more re replayability than the US version. Yep. That's about it. So for now, click the annotation that's somewhere up there for the next game series, and uh, he's gonna say something creepily. Fancy! And our final score of the game, what would you give it? Like a 7? 2. 2? I give it 2. 5? That's 5. 
Five. five. I go get to five. Thanks for watching, guys.